everyone. I'm mid painting. I actually wasn't going to do a video. I was just messing around. And then I just did a really, first of all, I made schmoozies. Okay. And then I think I'm going to make a full set. So I said to myself, I don't know, this is bleeding so bad. Um, why not just record the whole thing? So you already missed one, but I'll tell you what's happening. Uh, I'll just go like this. Okay. So we're mid, we're mid here. Um, I hope I have enough pillow. This is like my regular pillow that I've been using, which is, mm, I might not have enough. Um, the Sherwin Williams, you know, uh, whatever, like a Sherwin Williams, like a white color that I chose. And then I just, um, thinned it with a bit of U.S. Floetrol. I'm going to be very conservative because I have three more of these to do. Now, you know how I feel about my schmoozies. So I just like, was like, oh, I'll just go for it. Um, and like, I don't know if it's nice, but whatever. Okay. And you're going to ask me these colors. This is a yellow that I mixed up so long ago. I don't remember what it is. So, but you know, it's like, it's not as orange as an Indian yellow, but whatever. I don't know what any of these colors are, to be honest. Um, I think this is cobalt teal. Let's pretend, right? Now this looks maroon. This is like that Australian red violet and then like remember some black paint got in it so it's from maroon now <laughs> i do know this is triart rose gold the reason i schmoozed it is because you'll see in a minute my consistencies are crazy so i didn't like a piece uh this is australian sky blue by matisse so i just schmoozed it and i was like you know my cell activator is also quite thick everything is off that's why I wasn't taping it. I was just kind of having fun, but you know. Okay, here I go. And these colors are like crazy weird. Uh, they kind of work together, but they're very not my style look at these cute little cells though can you believe it um uh, and then you might think oh don't ruin it but like i already have one coaster schmooze so you might as well schmooze them all if you know what i mean so when i schmooze really i tend to go i don't go crazy i tend to go in like one direction but then i have to go fast because then i second guess myself okay so i'm like gonna go swirly whirly down okay and i'm gonna go the other way swirly whirly down and then we got to go swirly here okay i don't know that might have been too much but i really like these cells right here so we'll see how it goes it's really hard to judge the swirls until it's totally spun out they really do have a mind of their own now you'll notice i pressed way too hard in the last one so you see a white line which i don't love but whatever we will deal with it right and you know what i'm not like stressing about these because i was just playing around and i didn't have like these aren't for anybody i mean if someone wants to buy them that's what i'm hoping now <laughs> do you think someone will buy them there's some really cool stuff going on and remember i didn't put that much pillow paint so i don't have to spend that much uh so yeah they're just very different let's the cells are really cool they're right they're very different than what i normally do i think they're this is kind of cool what's going on i don't want to spend too much of that top off i think i don't think i have to okay i wasn't going to do a close-up but i really want to do a specialized close-up for this one because remember we weren't sure at first but now i think i did a not bad job um Let's do a close up. I'll be right back. Okay, you're going to hear some vacuuming noises upstairs, so I apologize for that. Um, all right, let's clean this off. I'm really liking where this is going. Just get 
this yucky stuff off. Okay. Oh, I should get more closer. One sec. So, here we go. I will have enough because I was conservative. I'm going to be conservative with this one. Except I'm going to catch this bloop that wants to come out. Thank you. And that's also what makes really. I mean, the thickness of my paints is also making these cells nice, but. All right, we're gonna do the same thing again. Okay, here we go. I hope you ADD people aren't bothered by that sound. I know when I watch these videos back. Although, I don't, my husband is convinced I have ADD. I'm very well versed. So my husband has ADD. Mo is on the spectrum. So they're both neurodivergent. Mo maybe has ADD too. We'll see. Um, and well, I'm learning. So I'm, you know where I'm learning the most? I'm learning the most on TikTok, which is amazing. But when we were growing up, people didn't really know much about ADD. Um, like, cause my husband wasn't hyperactive, so he never knew he had ADD. You know what I mean? And in the eighties, just, you just, they thought if you were hyperactive and crazy, then you had ADD and then the rest was just, who cares? You know what I mean? Hold up. So what I've learned is that girls do not get diagnosed quite as much with ADD because they're, they don't present mostly as hyperactive. They present mostly as non-focused um, and all those other things. But to be honest, like, I mean, yeah, I didn't do well in school. I was always like well-behaved, but I just didn't, it was too boring for me. So, but I don't know. Now I find my focus is harder to achieve, but maybe that's just because I'm old. Okay, ready? Uh, here we go. Oh, don't press so hard. Ooh, I did a different, okay. So I went different directions. I'm going to try not to press so hard to see that white. Um, I'm gonna try to do it lighter to not dig in, but I'm seeing some cool, I like this right here, so I don't wanna ruin it. Okay. And then this, I don't like, so I'm gonna smoosh. Anyway, that's my little ADD lesson. If you need any more info, you just holler. I do love though that there's, because people are so much more aware of that stuff these days, um, the kids are getting the help that they need. Like in most class alone, there's probably like three or four ADD kids. Um, and they all present differently and, uh, and they're all getting the help that they need, which is great. Your little lesson. <laughs> Ooh, okay. See, this part is so cool right here. I really like that. But I'm also realizing how it is so um, hereditary. You know what I mean? All right, this one's cool. I guess there's, I mean, you can't go so wrong, you know, with the uh, with the swirls. I do, they do make interesting shapes. I don't like it on bigger, I don't think. I think I could handle it on these small little guys. Um, I guess I'll do a close-up of this too because it's pretty cool, right? Or... No, maybe I won't, oh, but it, like, it's pretty cool. Okay, fine, I will. I'll be right back. Okay. 
I'm sorry I'm out of breath. I just got a new dishwasher delivered. I'm so excited. I don't, I haven't had a dishwasher since like COVID. Isn't that funny? I hate putting dishes away. <clears throat> I don't mind like washing them and loading them, but I hate putting them away. Okay, I'm gonna try to save some because I think I'm actually gonna redo, redo, no, redo the first one I did because the cells aren't as tight because I put more pillow paint down than these guys. So I'm gonna redo it, you know? There we go. Who knew? I really, it really goes to show you never know until your last bin. Because these colors, when I laid them out, I was like, these are ugly, but I didn't really care. Cause I just wanted to like play around. And I was like, oh, some of them are too thick. Oh, my cell activator, you know what I mean? And then I blew it out, I was like, <laughs> oh, that's ugly. I should um, schmooze it. So there. You never know. To your last spin. Okay. Let's blow her out. What's good about schmooshing is you can make mistakes and it doesn't really matter as much. You know what I mean? It's pretty forgiving. Um, I think I'll schmooze this way, right? Now I'm going to pay attention to not dig this right to the bottom. Okay? Hmm. Now I'm double, think double thinking it. No, I'm overthinking it. Okay? That's cute right there, actually. Don't want to ruin that. Um... Yeah, we'll just do it. I don't want to ruin these cute. That's the problem. When I start looking at like the cute cells and stuff that I don't want to ruin, you know. Mm. Is this going to look? I'll just go like this. I think my problem is if I futz around, I think that should be fine, except for this. If I start, the reason the first one worked was because I, I just went for it and didn't think. I don't like what I just did there. See? Um, I just went for it and didn't think what I was doing. The reason I don't like it is just because I brought too much pillow, white pillow in there. I think you just have to like really not overthink it. And you know, if you know me, that's what I have to do. Okay, I'm gonna go get, while well, this is spinning. I think it's cute. I'm gonna go get the other tile for you to look at and for us to fix. It's cute, but it's just, you'll see what I mean in a minute. That it's just, um, put it right here for a sec. It's just different. So I don't love this one as much because, sorry for that horrible noise. Oh, she's really aggressive with that uh, <laughs> vacuum. Okay. Oh God. I don't, is she, I don't know what she's doing. Sorry, I just had a little blue. Okay, so the things I don't like about this one, but I'm not gonna be picky about, okay? Is it, is it just that this, I don't, there's a bubble. Is this too thick and is this too thick or am I being too picky? I don't know, let's see. Probably being too picky, right? Yeah, I think I'm being too picky. Okay. Um, cute. This one a little wonky, which I don't like. See, I'm starting to be picky. Oh yeah, she's really getting that floor. Okay, I'm going to move this over for you to see bleep okay now okay hold on then i will show you the one we're going to read <laughs> the one we're going to redo all right okay just making sure this is flat okay next is i'm going to 
show you. What were we doing? Let me just clean off this. Bloop, bloop. So look, it's not bad, but it inspired me to do a whole set, but you, you can just tell because of my weird blow, there's there are not a lot of cute little cells. So I'm actually gonna knock off this because I don't want a lot of pillow paint because that's what's making these so nice. And I'm gonna use the rest of this. Okay, that should be good. And this is the final little guy. thick. That's probably why I have some, oh gosh, I have some, I'm not going to bother talking. <laughs> you can just mute this part if you want. Okay, ready? Last one. Not the best, best blow, but I guess we don't really care, right? Because we're schmoozing it about. This also, you know, we use the opaque to get the peacock cells, but if you don't break it up, you just get this like whole thing, which is not what you want, but luckily it's on the side. But that's also what's causing all these beautiful cells. All right, are you ready? I'm not gonna dig, you know what? I'm gonna try it with this thinner point. I'm not going to dig too much. We'll see. Yeah, that's much better, right? There's no white coming up. Yes. Very cute. Here we go. I do, this little part's bugging me, so maybe I'll just like, you know? All right. Goodness. Pretty successful, if you ask my opinion. Um, I think so. I mean, let's wait for the final spin, but I think we like what we see. I really, I think just the white always bothers me, and I know sometimes it could look pretty, but I'm still, like, I know it's not meant to be there. You know what I mean? I'm a little bit picky about that still, but aren't you proud of me? for doing schmoozies and being so like carefree about it. <laughs> I'm kind of proud of myself. All right. Um, cool, right? Okay, so let's go do a close up of all four. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this little schmoozy woozy. And uh, I'll see you another time. Bye bye. Okay, these are so cool. Um, totally not my normal vibe, but they're wild. I really like them. I hope you guys enjoyed. Bye.